common tangents to two circles. In this video, we're going to see the many ways how two circles can have common tangents. Let's start by looking at the cases in which the circles can be placed. Two circles can be placed on a plane in three different ways. The first is where the two circles in the plane intersect at two points. The second case is where they only externally or internally intersect at one point. The third way that circles can be placed is where the two circles don't intersect at all. Let's look at the second case first. When two circles intersect at only one point, they're said to touch each other. There are two subcases for this as well. If the circles touch each other and each is lying outside of the other, they're said to touch externally. The other case is where one circle touches the other while lying inside the other circle. Here they're said to touch internally. Either way, the two circles touch at only one point, and the point where they touch is called their point of contact. If two circles touch at a point such that their two centers and the point of contact of these two circles are all collinear, then there will be one common tangent to the two circles at the point of contact. This only happens when the two centers of the circles and the point of contact all lie on the same line. So if two circles are on opposite sides of their common tangent, they're said to touch externally since one circle can't be in the other circle. Similarly, when they're on the same side of the common tangent, then they touch internally, since one circle is inside of another circle. Now let's look at another case of where the circles are placed in the plane where they don't touch at all. If a line touches one circle at a point, let's say P, and another circle at another point, let's say Q, it's said to be a common tangent of the two circles. In this case, the length PQ is called the length of the common tangent. Now if the two circles are on the same side of PQ, the common tangent is said to be a direct common tangent. Now if the circles are on opposite sides of PQ, the common tangent is said to be transverse. Here one circle is below the line and another circle is above the line. All of these common tangents to the two circles will only exist if one circle does not lie entirely inside the other circle. So if one circle lies inside of the other circle and there's no point of contact, there's no common tangent. Now let's take a look at this figure with a lot of common tangents drawn in. Here we have four common tangents. Uh, one is A, A dash, another is B, B dash, another is C, C dash, and the last one is D, D dash. Here the pair of tangents A, A dash and B, B dash is called the pair of direct common tangents. The pair CC dash and DD dash is called the pair of transverse or indirect common tangents. Remember that the two circles lie on one side of a direct common tangent and the two circles lie on opposite sides of an indirect common tangent. Now let's go back to the case of two circles touching at one point. If the two circles touch externally, there will be a pair of direct common tangents and also a common tangent at the point of contact of the two circles. The common tangent at the point of contact of the circles will be an indirect common tangent. Now with the case where the two circles touch internally, there will be only one common tangent to the two circles and it will be a direct common tangent which lies at the point of contact of the two circles. Now remembering the case where the two circles intersect at two points, this case has the two circles having only one pair of direct common tangents. They won't have any indirect common tangents. So those are the many cases where the common tangents exist between two circles.